Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video is based on NetApp KB ID 1014958. We will talk about the volume recovery queue feature in clustered data on tap 8.3. In data on tap 8.3, a volume delete request will cause the volume to be moved to a partially deleted state. It will be retained in the recovery queue for at least 12 hours before being completely destroyed. When the volume is deleted, it will lose the junction paths, LUN mappings, snapshot policy, export policy, QoS policy and the CORA policy. The volume will be tagged as pending delete to prevent it from being online and will also be renamed. Let's look at the commands for the volume recovery. These commands run at the diag level. Enter the diagnostic mode using set diag. To view the retention hours, run vserver show hyphen fields volume hyphen delete hyphen retention hyphen hours hyphen vserver and the name of the vserver. The default value is 12 hours. To modify the retention hours, run vserver modify hyphen volume hyphen delete hyphen retention hyphen hours, the number of hours hyphen vserver and the name of the vserver. Let's check the retention hours now. Now it is set to 8. Note that this value will apply to the volumes that are deleted after this command is run. If the retention hours are set to 0, then it will disable the volume recovery feature. This is not recommended since you will lose the ability to recover any accidentally deleted Volumes. To view the recovery queue, run volume recovery queue show hyphen v server and the name of the v server. Here we have deleted the volume not in use and the retention hours is 8. To change the retention hours for the volumes already deleted, run volume recovery queue modify hyphen v server name of the v server hyphen volume name of the volume hyphen retention hyphen hours and the number of hours. Now if we check the volume recovery queue, it will show the retention hours as 15. A volume in the recovery queue can either be destroyed or recovered. After the retention hours are complete, the volume is destroyed automatically. If you'd like to destroy the volume manually, you can use the purge command. To destroy the volume, run volume recovery hyphen q purge hyphen v server name of the v server hyphen volume and name of the volume let's check if the volume still shows up the volume not in use is no longer in the list now let's try recovering a previously deleted volume to recover the volume, run volume recovery hyphen q recover hyphen v server name of the v server hyphen volume and name of the volume. Now let's check the volume recovery queue. It's currently empty. Now check the status of the volumes. Now we see that the volume test 1032 is no longer in deleted state but in offline state. Once the volume is recovered, we need to rename the volume to its original name, set up the junction path using volume mount, create LUN mappings, associate the snapshot policy, export policy and the QoS policy as required using volume modify, apply the quota policy rules using quota policy rule. We hope you find this video helpful. Please subscribe to NetApp KBTV for more knowledge based videos. Thanks for watching.